Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the stream. We're playing, we're playing a Koi Tecmo and Gus game. First, I'm gonna make. First, they're rather popular on this channel, apparently. Even more so than Squeenix. Even though I plan on playing another Squeenix game. Yeah. So we're playing our No Surge. Oh, to an unborn star. It's a PS3 game. It's also available on PS Vita. Of course, the PS Vita. Of course, this game is sadly pretty rare these days. Unfortunately. But that's okay. I got it before the price spike, so. I guess I'll just play it for you. Hmm. All right, we need to head over to the bio shop because there's another dive we gotta do. All right now, where are my notes? I need to go to over to Eon's notes. Alright now. Let's dive. Oh, her story active. Alright, let's go to another Eon one, I guess. Hey, can you hear me? Wait, what? I hope to realize the light was real. Is that because we helped her overcome her hatred and resentment last episode? Furry Sky Vacuum Tube. Ooh, that sounds like a fun place. Hey, it's you. You finally come so far, have you? Um. Oh, what? All the options are just Nelico. All right, let's go with Nelico. Why would this happen? Why is this place so dark? He was level of the light housekeeper's mind. Ooh. Of course, our heart is in front of infinite. What I meant is this is where the deep, the deep as the outsider can come. Is that the neat type of emotion or worldly trauma, worldly desires are melted in a single world? So we're gonna have to navigate through darkness. Wow, it really is darkness. Let's bring the light to let's bring the light to Ian, huh? It's really dark. That's because I hid all the things about me and things I hate about myself in this world. Oh wow, that makes sense. Yep, we saw your we saw the hidden darkness in Eon's heart, man. How can we make it light? Wait, what? Who's there? Oh, Nelico. Okay. Yes, I totally don't look. I'm totally not Jill or anything. I mean, you do look a little like Jill. Obviously, she's a different character. I guess they reused her model. Although Jill is also a sexy cult is a sexy cult leader, but uh, there's nothing sexy about being a cult leader, guys. Yeah, no, say no to cults. Oh, thank you for the light. Thank you. Now we can see everything around us. That's good. Thank you, Nelico. See, the bunny girl virus is actually really nice. Yeah, of course she was designed for mind control. Wait, what? Um, no, we're not looking at that now. Um, what do I say? Um, eeny, me, my mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you always let go, eeny, me, my mo. I'm not even going to look at what choice I select. <laughs> Why do we have so much embarrassing, weird, weirdly sexual stuff here? All right, let's go bring the light to other parts of the parts of Ion's heart, man. This is where the darkness within darkness is hidden. 
We have to save we have to save Eon from becoming heartless inside her heart, yeah? Yeah, this is how you save people from becoming heartless. Otherwise they'll succumb to darkness within darkness, just like the Illuminati plans. Yes, I know they're technically um organization thirteen. But listen, they're there are a bunch of mysterious people that run around in dark robes. And, um, are behind all the bad things in the Disney universe. Yeah, they're basically the Illuminati. Hmm. And they will not stop until they make all hearts succumb to darkness within darkness. Oh, thank you, Canon. You taught me to trust others and win together. Oh, well. I guess that's from our other dives. No problem, Canon. Thank you for helping. Even in a relationship, we're together. What? What do you, what do you mean? Is this about the time Eons did the thing dumb to you? Yeah, I wish Eon would step on me. Or, I mean, um... No, um, right, um... Oh, what? We really are bringing it up again? Uh, what? Uh, what should I say? Um... Ihan is a secret sadist. Okay, then. Okay, then. I guess I guess we really did bring it up. Why did I... See, I must be psychic or something. Their way of sinners. Let's go there. That sounds like a fun place where only good things can happen. It's completely dark, like my soul. Yes, I am also a heartless in disguise. Yes, I'm not a hum- I'm not a human. I am a heartless. Yes. I succumbed to darkness within darkness a long time ago, man. Mm. Now open your heart and submit! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey, look, it's Nay! Yes, I'm sorry I took- I'm sorry I stole your body and, um, your soul got put into a Charles body. Yes. Oh, right, that's what we learned last time in the last episode. Yes, apparently Eon stole Nay's body and, um... Apparently Eon's soul was inside of Nay's body and Nay- Nay was put into a Charles body. Apparently. Oh yeah, we're referencing the time we did the song magic and made the fairies fall asleep. <clears throat> yeah, so and your heart was very weird. You um you had a bunch of torture devices inside your heart and uh, we're running an amusement park that um killed people. Yes. Of course, Bert and Liv is definitely the best song magic in the entire game, man. Not because it's the most powerful, obviously, but, um... For other reasons, yeah. Um, that's some crazy Yuri right there, but... Um... What do I say? Oh, it just says to pick one. Okay. I guess I'll go with the buzzy option, I guess. Yes. Mm. Hey, are you really into this? Oh, wait, you were joking, okay. Right, um, that makes sense, yeah. I was also doing it as a joke, yeah. Oh, thank you for the gym. Oh, pure heart, yay. Let's go over here. I don't know why I needed notes for. Um, everything's been pretty good so far.
What I came here to do is destroy a planet. Yes, she tried to sing a song that tried to turn the planet into energy to transport people to, um, another planet, but, um... Yeah, freaking Nello got in the way. Oh, hey, Renal. I'm sorry we tried- I'm sorry we hated you so much in our heart and our- and we sent a ninja samurai lady to kill you over and over and over again. And to, um, push you to Minecraft yourself. I'm really sorry about that. Here, I hope this postcard helps. I hope this card helps. Mm. Yes. Of course it was Eon's heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was um very dark in that in that area. Kind of unsettling too. And Eon also is self-aware that this is a game, apparently. Stop stop picking the perfect answers, please! Stop picking the perfect answers! All you're doing is pressing buttons! Oh, yes? <laughs> well, how do you know I'm pressing buttons, man? I was pressing buttons! Mm. What? The game is self-aware? That's kind of unusual! Damn, usually when games are self-aware, they always make the player out to be the villain. Let's light a fire. I'll try to light a fire here. Alright. Oh, let's make... Oh, hey, this place is really pretty. Um, uh, what is this place? Is it... There's a garden and a gazebo. How do we get here? And let's build it. Let's build something to fly with, like an airplane. What's going on? Hey, another go. Can you go to that store with me, please? Sure, I'll go anywhere with you, Ian. Or, I mean, um... Just the two of us, huh? Wait, what? What is that? Did we transform into that? A merge between this world and hers, huh? Damn, it's a robot dragon. It's a military-grade robot dragon. Oh, I can't wait to try this out, man. Oh, yay. Alright, your heart is mine. Filament of light. Yes, we need to go here. Oh, it says there's a CG. I hope it's a nice CG and not something like stepping on cannon again. Oh, from a picture book, cool. A girl who longed to fly, longed for the stars in the sky, so she came up, so she created the filaments to light it up. And her life was empty. And she rode on the back of a dragon? Cool. This is so cool. Oh, it's one of the CGs from the game. Okay. This is one of the promotional CGs, man. I want to understand the real you. No, you don't. Um, I'm pretty boring, by the way. Yeah, I'm not that interesting, and I think I'm... No. But we're here to have fun with this game. Yeah, and I really love you. You're my waifu. Or, I mean, um... Let's not say things like that now. That's very weird. Hey look, we made it super duper bright. Cool. You did it. You fixed the filament of light. Now everything's super bright. 
All right, which one, which one should we do? All right, let's let's embrace her, yeah. Oh, temple overlooking the world. It says there's another CG here. Cool. Hey, now they go. What's up? Wait, what? Who do you know about? Who do you know? It's a little embarrassing, please. I just want to confess my love. Just confess your love to each other, please. Yes. Eon, please confess your love to me. Or, I mean, um... No, we're not gonna say things weird. Yeah. Glad we can't... I'm glad I got... I'm glad Eon does not know what that we're actually saying weird stuff like that, no. Yeah. Wait, is this a marriage ceremony? Um, what's going on? Are we really marrying your waifu? Um, are we going to marry Eon? Oh, hey. You look good, Eon. Alright, then. You're really pretty, yes. Let's say that. Now we're gonna marry- please marry us. It'll be the strongest bond possible for all of us. Oh, uh, what? We're really marrying her? Okay, I guess I promise. Oh boy, yeah. Fiery bonds, okay, cool. Cool, I got a new attack. Yeah, that's the only reason I did it. Sorry, Eon. That's the grand finale. No problem, Eon. <laughs> yes, we're taking this super duper seriously. Yeah, they're totally baiting her to be your waifu, man. Of course, it wouldn't be a Gus game without um, baiting you into getting waifus. Or baiting, to, or baiting me or you pretty hard in official artwork. Alright, let's just grab the song and be out of here. Mm. Alright, we're not going to bring up the word waifu ever again. Except to make fun of it, ironically. Except ironically. I mean, it's okay to love fictional characters and have crushes on them, but, um... I think some people take it really hard. You're a very important person. Yeah, I could say I'm a completionist, but that'd be rude. Even though I ain't, I'm not really a completionist whatsoever. Alright, we grabbed ourselves another song, Magic Man. Seventh Apocalypse. There we go. Big nice dragon. We're gonna ride the stars on a dragon, yeah. Dragons are the best. Then again, then again, unless their names are Blue Eyes White Dragon or anything that's Blue Eyes related, they're not the good, they're not good whatsoever. No. Dragons that are not Blue Eyes White Dragon are, 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 um, no. They're terrible. Alright, where's the center of Rosalia then? Oh, over here. Well, it says to go over here, so we better go over here. Then waves of enemies, huh? That was the center of our former planet, Rasiella. Alright, let's resurrect it. It is the last fragment of the place we were born. And the home we destroyed. What kind of lives might we have had? 
If our planetary migration had been successful, I wonder. Okay, let's try fixing it. I'm sorry. It didn't work because I couldn't do my job. No, didn't it fail because of Nello? Of I'm not attempting to assign blame. In fact, your song did not go to waste. What? Even now, there is still a thread of energy between the distant planet you linked to and this place. The song I am about to install into Her Majesty will use that energy to transport people there. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go to another planet, Oa. What are you talking about? So we finally found our paradise, yay! You need to have more self-confidence, Eon. You're a lot more amazing than you seem to think. I know I'll always fight to the death, but you're really not that different. You never give up. Yeah, no kidding. I can do all this because I know you're here. Even if I screw it up, you'll figure out a way to fix it. You've got my back. You won't try and run away, right? I'm sure. Of course not. Good. Dude, they're trying to eerie bait these two. Wait, no. I can't. I'm just messing with you. I just oh, feel better with you we're, we're being baited you back. If it comes down to we felt for the troll bait, back. guys. What? That's... Um... Eon, are you blushing? What did you do? Ah, why is that the only option I can choose? That's a secret. I'll never tell anybody ever. Okay, then. All right, that's enough. I'm glad you're friends, but it's time to start the installation. Yes, friends. That's what we're calling it these days, oh, man. Yeah, but no waifus here. As friends, yeah. Quayley Exeter. Thank you for the song, Magic. I've never felt something like this before. This song is amazing. Like it could consume everything. Do it. It's called Class Distalista. I suppose you could say it is our last hope. Class Distalista. The place to sing it is a little further on. We should make our way there now. Okay, let's go. All right, we got that out of the way. Let's go. Uh oh, enemies. You guys are gonna be pretty tough. We should probably be careful. Alright, let's use our big dragon, dude. Let's power up and break through. Breaking through pretty easily. We're not done yet, right? Looking good. There! There! Wonderful! I'm gonna fight too. Good. Blast them, blast them, blast them. Boom. That's a lot of damage, man. It's one of the strongest song magics in the game, man. And yet there's still one that's even stronger. Boom! The next enemy's coming. Let's power up and break through. Keep going. I'm gonna fight too. You're gonna wipe them all out. Boom! That's the next enemy yeah. Alright, it's this the enemy's turn. I did not block that correctly. What? I was blocking that, dude! But the game said I didn't block! Or, I mean, I mean that ironic. I mean that ironically, I'm just memeing it up. What? I was blocking that, dude! The game cheated, dude! Nothing I could do! Ack, 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 snort. There we go.
Damn, that was cool. You did really well. Damn, that is a cool badass dragon, man. I will say that that dragon is pretty badass. I'm normally not into dragons. That was badass, man. That made me happy, man. I'm not done with you. We have one more song magic to unlock. Alright, now. Oh, we reached an episode point. Oh, man. Well, I guess I have to switch over to Delta and Cast then. Alright, let's switch over to Delta and Cast. Oh, Sarley joined. What? Alright, what are we supposed to do? Let's go meet your Taka in the Hymnosphere, okay. Alright, let's leave. Oh, we're allowed to go there. Oh, we can't get to where we are. I'm glad we got seven of the apocalypse though. Now let's get out of here. Enemies are appearing. Oh no. Now let's get started. Let's use this one. I love the edge. Finish them off, Delta. Power up and wreck 'em, wreck 'em, wreck 'em, wreck 'em. Oh yeah. Yeah. Crack, 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 crack. Boom! Break them. Good. Keep this up. Flash right yeah. through them. I suppose. Let's give them the final Keep cut, shall we? Wreck them! Break them. Awesome. Good. Keep this up. Watch this. Boom! Break them. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Smash him, smash him, smash him. And we don't have another impulse to use. But we got two power ups, so that's okay. Right, let's impulse and then whack him. Alright, let's power up first. Crack! Boom! I'll have some fun with you. Good. Keep this up. Break them. I know these guys are gonna have hard defense. Good. Keep this up. Well done. Here you go. Here you go. All right, let's do it. We can keep I going. shall change all of your fates with the power of the seventh dimension. Send them into the void. Into the void. Which is a good Yu-Gi-Oh card that got banned. Fortunately, was too good at being draw power. Well, I Damn, over 5,000 XP? So basically, we're gonna level up from this. Oh no. Damn, I thought for sure we would level up. Okay. Don't be interested in Charles now. Now, Charles may be sexy fairies, but don't be oogling them now. Ah, don't fall for their charms, man. Of course, Charles are pretty sexy. Er, I mean, um. Right, um. Let's get right into it, yeah. Damn, this dude is waiting today, man. Quantum entanglement? What? Damn, they're talking about quantum mechanics. That's outside my that's outside my zone, man. Yes, yeah, so we have to change our clothes into something um better, yeah. Alright, what's the clothes we gotta change into?
All right, let's get a look at it. That is some weird looking armor, man. Okay, I guess we're superheroes now. Yeah, this looks like straight up super. This like looks looks straight up like sci-fi superhero costumes, like you would find in Marvel. Yeah, sort of. All right, now let's get out of here. Oh right, um, Delta and Cass were about to head into the dimension. Through the other planet, yeah? Oh well, thank you for the friend attack! Oh, it's about time we got another one of those. Center of Rosalia. Girl Taka joined the party. Alright, let's go. That was weird. Alright, let's leave. Watch out for bad guys along the way. Yeah, we got some fanatics that are still loyal to, to, to Jill along the way. Anyway, I like our new costumes. Yeah, they look like... They're definitely proper 90s anime sci-fi stuff. Yeah, let's wreck them. Alright, these guys are gonna have, like, defense. And they survived that, huh? Let's whack them. One shot! Break them. Good. Oh, we didn't one shot. Okay. Alright, let's one shot. One. Wow! One shot. Let's wreck him! Damn, it's holding on for dear life, huh? I shall change all of your fates with the power of the seventh dimension. The thing freaking lowers defense. Even if they do hold on. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less. Cool, we're level 88 now. That's excellent. Alright, let's leave here. Head to our destination. Let's grab a couple things off the ground. Anti-friction gear. Those are nice little things to pick up. Alright, let's go to where we need to go. Then enemy waves here. Oh, we encountered him pretty early. Now let's get started. I am a fan of the new battle theme. Finish them off, Delta. The in-game battle Break theme them. is really cool though. Good. Keep this up. Alright, let's one shot. Or at least do severe damage to them. Alright, these red guys can be kind of annoying to deal with. Let's say like to swap around their positions when you attack them. Then we have all that armor heal. Let's wreck them. Break them. 
Ooh, almost one, almost one chatted. Hey, look, mermaids. We can get some of the some of the song magic crystals from them. All right, more enemies. Let's wipe them out. Wreck. All right, 100%. Let's go. I shall change all of your fates with the power of the seventh dimension. Send them into the void. And then collapse the void in on them. And blow them up. The pure edge. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less. How cool we leveled up again. Level 89, baby. Excellent. Now that that's out of the way, we can focus on what we're actually doing, you're doing. Don't worry, it's kind of hard, kind of easy to reach level 100 and level 99 in this game. Yeah, max level is 99. For some games, do have ridiculously high level caps. But usually it's 99 or 100. Yeah, I remember that Tales games have a ridiculously high level cap. They're like two... Level 200, man. Although in Tales of Vesperia, there's a boss that's level 200. Hmm? Did you change your clothes? Yes, for some reason. Shirotaka gave us these. He said something about protecting us from the shock of the wormhole. Okay then. Huh. I don't get it, but you look pretty good. Yes, we do. More like heroes heading off to save the world. See, I said the same thing. I think you might be exaggerating a little. Oh, yes you do. Looks like heroes, man. True. But if you don't figure something out over there, we're doomed. Oh, I'm not trying to put pressure on you or anything. Well, all right then, I guess. We're just trying to save the world. I get we just have to save the world. There's no pressure or anything now. We know. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll figure out something once we get there. I'll hold you to that. Sorry for butting in, but can I say something? Yeah, what? What's up? Everybody here believes in you. Me especially. But as a scientist, there's something I need to tell you. As a scientist? You're traveling through space-time. I don't know if you can make it. And if you do, if you can come back. Is there anything you want to say or do before you leave? Oh, let's do that. I'll tell you when we get back. Me too. We'll be fine. I see. Well then, if you need anything, call me right away. I'll do whatever I can. Well, we can't really call you. Although I guess Earthus would know, so you would too. Yes, we did. That's true. You got it, dude. Are you? Yeah, ready? let's be nice. We can begin as soon as you are prepared, Your Majesty. Well, no time like the present, I guess. Also, wear some actual clothes. I'm looking forward to something amazing, May. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll be singing as the Empress today. You better be ready for this. Okay. This song opens a door into the unknown. A song for the potential of life and a melody of trust. Okay, do it. You know it's really rare to have the Empress sing for you personally, right? I do. We'll do our best to listen with respect and gratitude. <laughs> All right, you two. We're all counting on you. Here goes. We're gonna head to another planet now. Don't freak out, it's gonna be okay. Stay close. Don't worry, we we'll... Okay. Good. Alright, I'm not controlling anything here. Please, 
Be careful. Good luck. All right, goodbye. We're gonna turn ourselves into energy and go to another planet, I guess. Hey, anime cutscene. Yep, we've flown through a wormhole. Where is this? Wait, what? Who's that? Hey, aren't you from El Artonelico? I say as I've never played Artonelico and looked it up in advance. I should really play Arts and Elico sometime, man. I can. Wow, this was pretty good. Soul CL? What's that? This is the homeworld. I don't know. Maybe it's the name of a planet? The name of this planet is RCL. Soul CL is the name of one of its regions. RCL? Soul CL is part of the planet RCL? Wait, then that means... We made it. We're here? <laughs> <laughs> we made it! <laughs> we did it! We really did it! It worked! We can save everyone! Yes! Yes! Uh, um, aren't you forgetting oh, oh, something? I'm sorry. I'm Casty, and this is Delta. Who are you? Casty and Delta. I see. Who are you? I'm Eolia. But, um, please call me Shirelia. Shirelia, okay. Okay. Nice to meet you all. So, uh, what are you doing? It shouldn't be possible for normal people to get in here. Oh yeah, we traveled through- we traveled through time space from another pla- from a dead planet in order to get here so we can invade. Or, I mean, um, we're here to set up our colony here, yeah. We're totally not invading or anything, no. Um, well... Are... Are you Orgle Fairies? What? What? Fairies? What are Orgle Fairies? Father always said that fairies live here, in the Orgle of Origins. That's why I... We're not fairies, we're just humans. Normal humans here? Are you intruders? Uh-oh! She's on to us! She's on to our invasion plan! Quick! Wait, hold on! We came here from another planet! What? Yes, another planet. We're aliens. Actually, we came from a colony ship, not a planet. But basically, we're from, uh, really far away. You can do that? How? Um, song magic, yeah. We used song magic to travel through space time. Yes, that's what we did. Song magic. Then that means you two can use hymnos. Hymnos? Oh, was I wrong? Song magic is used through hymnos, right? Or do you use songs from the Tarot Tribe? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. It sounds like they have song magic too, but it uses a different system language from ours. Hmm. Well, song magic is based off words. I guess it wouldn't be strange for them to have... So, why are you here, Shirelia? Didn't you say normal people can't come in here? Oh, I'm an exception. I'm this Amplification Tower's administrator. Well, those things in the background do look a little like... I don't like music discs. Really I understand. Since I were using old time music boxes. Under your protection? Why? A needle that scratches those things and then the those you um make songs. Are we really expecting a girl like this to protect us? Hey, she's really yeah. strong. Come on, Delta. We don't know our way around this place. You should accept her. Yeah, help. dude. I know how I look, but I'm a real administrator. And you shouldn't be so rude. Yeah, she's right, you know? Sorry. Delta's rude to everyone. He's just wired that way. Hey. Yeah, so he has a well, dense shown in protagonist. As as you understand. He doesn't understand uh, when the main uh, girl tells him his re her real feelings, right? yeah. Aren't you some kind of administrator? Just make it so they don't attack us. I can't do that. I, um... I just became administrator recently. The security control program still hasn't been installed yet. Oh, we're gonna be attacked by robots. Sorry. Uh, we get to a new world, and the first thing we have to do is fight. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, so let's just be careful. Okay, let's do that. 
Oh, yes. We got the Artanelico girl in our party now. I still don't know what she's talking about, though. I say as I prob as I've never played Artanelico. Ten ways of enemies, huh? Oh, we encountered him pretty soon. Wait, are these robots? They look like security guards or something. The like androids? They just look like the medium enemies from our world. Oh, whatever. They're easy to beat. Let's beat them up. And I'll just keep doing this until I wipe out all the waves. Uh oh, stronger enemies. Good. Keep this up. Break them. Here you go. A present from me. Give them a taste. I think I got double power ups on me. Too late to beg for forgiveness now. Here you go. We can keep going. A present from me. These waves are actually tougher. Sorry, boss waves. All of your fates with the power of Ow. The oh, they're just stronger moves, really. They're not really that. They're not really bosses. Wow, I wasn't expecting that from you. Very nice. Got a lot of Charlie meat, do. That's really nice of them. They drop. But where are we supposed to go? We yeah, should head this way. Oh, look, an item we can pick up. A legendary screw. That it's super rare and worth a lot of money. That's an in-game crafting item. That might be one of the items we're missing, man. But we should definitely pick those up. Alright, let's leave. Now this place looks strange. With all the cubic stuff. This is amazing. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, this is another planet. What weird architecture, man. It really is an incredible view. Is it really that different from your world? It's different enough. Even the air doesn't feel the same. I... I don't really understand. I don't mean anything weird, just... There's wind and a sky and... It's all incredible. Yeah, they've been living on a colony ship for who knows how long. If someone told me this was paradise, I'd believe them. I admit, I'm a little surprised people live here. Look! I can see a city! Let's go right over there. That's Kurt Fena. It's where the non-human race called the Terra Tribe lives. The who? Huh? On the surface, the floating continent, the Wings of Horus, is forbidden to the general public. You have a floating continent? Yes. It's an experiment. Several years back, they created it by tearing off a portion of land and floating it. Oh wow, that makes sense. Seriously? So I guess your planet has a pretty advanced civilization, huh? Yeah, they sure do. I don't know. I've never seen it compared to another civilization, so I couldn't say. We don't have the technology to travel freely between planets like you do, though. So, your civilization might be more advanced. Maybe. I wouldn't really say we can travel freely, either. Still, it looks like their science is pretty advanced. We might be able to travel back to our world. Okay, let's try to find a way. Better than finding a planet of farmers. Planet of farmers? You mean like Luke Skywalker was on? Oh, what? Halt! What? Who's there? It's pointless to resist. What? Don't move. Who are these guys? It's Delta. I think we should do what they say. Are you alone? Where's the rest of your team? Uh oh, they're onto us under invasion plans, man. Team. What are you talking about? Don't make me repeat myself. Wait, hold on. These 
people are fairies from the Orgel of Origins. Um, don't say things like that, Shirley. That's nonsense. They came from a distant planet. They're my friends. Fairies? Your friends? What are you talking about? Wait. You came from another planet. Hmm. You. What? Ane Hien. Won't. Huh? What? What did. Wait a second. So ne ye si ye ye fa are. So ne. I'm surprised. I didn't think there was anyone left who would understand this language. What do you mean? These people are not spies from the Soul Cluster. In fact, they appear to be old friends of ours. Wait, what? Who? I'll be handling this matter, if you don't mind. Okay, who are you? These guys look like plasma goons, but um, they're quite different. Looks like I don't understand what's going on. Neither do I, Delta. Who are these people? Well, they apparently think we're spies of an enemy nation of some or something. Oh wow, we're. Oh wow, I can't believe we're on another planet, man. We should definitely check things out, man. Seems like a lovely enough place. By the way, I really want Arsona to surge the X in the West. Please, Gus, make it happen. Oh, maybe I should ask Koi Tecmo, since they own Gus and everything. Hey, Koi Tecmo, please bring um, Arno Surge DX to the West. Please. Um. Oh, I guess it's no use in begging. I'll just ask politely, okay? No need to bombard them or anything, now. It's important to be civil with each other, yeah? Animal protectors sounds like humans and Ginnon. All right, we'll let him talk to each other. Ain't from the Terror Tribe, really? And we came here from another world, our ancestors said. This theme? Okay, I guess all this is Artanelco stuff that I don't understand because I never played it. Pretty good as well, huh? Oh, now you're forest. Okay, let's go there. The will of the planet, huh? Okay, I guess there's some. All right, I don't understand what's going on, but I think I'll go with it anyway. Maybe things will make sense when we get there, huh? All right, we got it in the place through the world map. Oh man, Shirley, you left the party, huh? Well, there's a dive shop too. There's a save point right here. And I'm really sorry. I would definitely like to continue, but I think it's best to stop right now. And I'll come back to it la I'll come back for the rest of it later. Probably later today. I thank you for watching. I hope you had plenty of fun, guys. Now it's gonna be a brave new world from here on out. Hopefully we can save our world too. Maybe we can make ourselves a new planet. Hopefully. Anyway, I'll see you later. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye-bye now. Ah, I love you.